sometimes they say the young batch is always the bad one. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Providence, episode 18 of Supernatural Season 1, continuing it on with my retro reviews. Providence is an episode I honestly always forget happens. I mixed this one up with the haunted dollhouse one that's in the second season, if I'm correct. Both of those episodes are really, really similar, at least in feel for me. And this is like the Bloody Mary episode, but not as good. I know that there is that kind of romantic element for Sam in it, but it's just so corny and cheesy and so slapped on i feel like obviously the character was really good i liked her and so much so that they brought her back in 2013 which i think was season nine or season eight but i have no memory of this her she's good i liked her in this episode but there's still just some kind of tacked on humor that just it just hasn't aged well and some of it's just not that funny i feel it's it's really slapsticky i do like the mystery with the painting and i feel that like they could have spent more time with that but they just spent so much time with sam and this girl and I know that other episodes will do this a lot better. In terms of one-off episode girlfriends for Sam, I always refer to Heart. Heart is the pinnacle of a one-off romantic episode that the entire show has ever had. Never have I had so much emotion for a girl who, a character who was introduced in one episode. I do like this girl. Admittedly, I kind of keep on mixing her up with Laura Cohen, um, who doesn't appear till season three, but I just don't feel that the relationship with these two is as good as it was when it was first introduced. I think that it doesn't have enough time to breathe and it just kind of keeps on circling the same drain. There are some funny bits, admittedly. There's a part where Sam gets tricked at going back to the gallery because Dean says he forgot his wallet and he sees the painting he's like, oh my god! And I think that's one of the best parts of that episode. I did like the mystery aspect. The red herring is kind of really obvious now to see that it is the little girl. The painting also makes these really weird moist sounds when it's moving, which is just really creepy, kind of adds a good edge to it. The episode itself isn't bad, it's just not as stand out as the rest of them are, and it's easily confusable, at least for me, with other episodes that kind of follow the same aesthetic of it. But let's see what you guys have to say about that. I asked you guys after my episode of something wicked to give me your comments about this episode so let's see what you guys have to say okay here you guys' comments again i only did this episode five days ago so there aren't that many but i still enjoy all the ones that i get from you guys this one being from jim the cat good times when supernatural was creepy love this episode yeah it was pretty creepy admittedly that moist sound is just moist and then this one's from octu senpai provenance was an interesting episode in retrospect that because that when the girl dies in what I consider a meaningless, pointless way via Crowley in Season 8, I believe. They probably did that because they treated every season like the last, so Season 8, if last, would have been Supernatural's end. Heaven and Hell would have closed and all the demons gone, and having her killed would be like a big nostalgic death. But now, just weird seeing this episode, which, like many earlier episodes, had this, this scary movie dark and dank feel, with how it compared to the brightly lit Supernatural we see now. Yes, definitely. The show has a soap opera-like feel now in terms of how it's shot. Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. Does that mean that the girl dies in that episode? Oh, wow. I'm in for a, a treat when I rewatch that episode. Thank you guys for those comments. So now my final rating for Providence is a 4 out of 7. It's not a bad episode. Definitely not. I do like aspects of it, and I know I ragged on the relationship aspect of this episode a little bit. And it is good, it's, it's well done in certain spots, but it's just really repetitive. And in terms of other relationships that are done further on in the season and in the show, it definitely doesn't stand up as well to those other ones. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Please give me your comments and thoughts on the next episode, which is Dead Man's Blood, which is the vampire one. And I'm very curious as to where, how this one is aged, because part of me thinks it's gonna be really good, and the other part of me thinks it's gonna be really bad, mainly with that rip off of the Lost Boys kind of vampire group. Anyways, tell me what you thought about it, and I'll make sure to read about it in the next episode. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. You're probably wondering who I am. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say The Click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. 
Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.